yes i'm over here in the midnight hours well 1109 p.m okay <laughs> listening to sade croon through smooth operator it's candy birds a smooth operator and nene leaks is feeling it and wishing she could have had all that success when she was Candy Burris' age. I don't know. Is she a smooth operator? Smooth operator. Smooth operator. Smooth operator. Yes, that's what we're trying to figure out. Is Candy Burris a smooth operator? Okay. Their jig is up. When is she going to give the reins to another new housewife or let the reins come back on a former housewife by the name of Phaedra Parks? So we can get into some new drama, some new storylines, and we can breathe new life into the Real Housewives of Atlanta because right now it's on a lifeline. And that's just my opinion of this article we're bringing up that was given to us by Cheat. Well, no, Showbiz Cheat Sheet Entertainment, okay? They are the um, gossip columnists that features on celebrity or reality stars uh, who think they're celebrities. And uh, they write up information on them as well. Y'all think Candy Burris is the, uh, she's over there in the Mad Singer as that little TV character I just showed y'all. Um, Cause I'm thinking she is. I only caught it like one time and I saw her and I saw another article being written up about that particular show, The Mad Singer. And she just had a lot of traits to that particular character. So y'all let me know down in the comments if you will. Okay, what say, what say you family about? Is Ken over there trying to get a second job, third job, fourth job, fifth job, sixth job, seventh job? <laughs> Is that one of her jobs over there trying to perform on the mad Singer? But anyway, let's talk, fam. Let's talk about this situation. Christina Munford over at Showbiz Cheat Sheet, she wrote up an article on Candy Birds. She titled it, Real Housewives of Atlanta, Candy Burris dishes on whether she wants new housewives over her old castmates. And I'm like, hmm, is that the pot calling the kettle black? Or is this a conspiracy theory going on? I'm just trying to figure out, because why are we asking Candy this? And we're not asking the other housewives that. Or maybe it had, maybe a, a, a gossip columnist or journalist of entertainment gossip may have asked and i just missed the interview or the article okay so let's just take that back that i said why are we asking candy burris because we should be asking the question why not candy burris okay she can make a uh an opinion here and there whether we agree with it that's on us right so i'll let her have her say okay but getting back to the article it said, uh, as one season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta wraps up, it's time to look to what will happen next season. Though we still have the reunion to look forward to, there has already been talk of who is coming back next season and who will get the axe. Well, I tell you, Shamari got the axe. Kim Fields got the axe. But yet they still have Eva and Cynthia on here. Mind-boggling, isn't it? I can see some reference to Cynthia being there because we need we need old or seasoned people with just I guess being seasoned. You know, they don't have to have no a good forethought or I guess anything really happening. Because uh, 'cause I'm trying to figure out who well, Cynthia do know Steve Harvey, so she may know a few more other black celebrities running around there whatnot um because i'm trying to figure out who have cynthia really rubbed heads with you know other than steve harvey can somebody point me in the right direction i mean does she know oprah winfrey has she rubbed uh heads with her does she rub head with tyler perry here and there um Ah, uh, what does Cynthia do other than modeling? And um, does she know any heavy hitters in mo the modeling world now? That's basically uh, the new age modeling uh, people out here. Or 
her um what do you call what is happening with her modeling agency she's supposed to be uh gearing up and she's revamping her eyewear and her luggage wear i don't know i think Cynthia just need to go and be a wife and get his show be his stuff up just i don't know ride mike hotel for a while be a, a stay-at-home mom or something i, I don't know I, I i just when i think about Cynthia Bale, i just like question mark just come up in my head like where and where is she going these days what is she doing who she's meeting with uh is she just enjoying life just taking it all in being um a fiance at the time and hopefully we'll be getting married in october and living her best life ever after in her 50s 60s 70s i really don't know but let's get back to canon verse because that's what we're here for right okay but anyway, it goes back into the article. It says, um, as we all know, Bravo loves to shake things up and bring in new cast members from time to time to keep things lively. Of course, the women themselves rarely, if ever, get a say in who returns to Real Housewives of Atlanta. But Candy Burris has a few options on who she like to see holding a peach next season. Well, I'm just like this. We don't need Candy to be saying anything. We already got Kenya, and that's enough. That's enough said right there, and that's enough. We don't need Candy bringing nobody else up in this camp, okay? Unless she's going to say, well, why don't we just bring... um." quad from merit and medicine because she don't ran her time over there give us some new blood that's already in the industry or better yet let's bring those scott sisters one of the scott sisters preferable the one that she said lied on her that she was sleeping around with jermaine dupree's father his dad <laughs> okay when i thought she was just sleeping around with jermaine dupree but okay that's another whole story and it's all allegedly you know what i'm saying we just having a discussion over here uh, picking the, picking pieces together what we feel may be the truth or not the truth, the whole truth. You know what I'm saying? Or why don't we just bring Phaedra Pauls back? That would be salacious, wouldn't it? Ooh, child. Yeah, I was asking y'all. Y'all think she's the mad singer over there. Ooh, that's a horrific outfit. But anyway, she's the same height. Kind of had the same demeanor as Candy. But I don't know. <sighs> but going back to the article. Yes, they when I asked Kenya who she would bring back, and I'm like, nah, we don't need, she already about Kenya back, that's enough, that's a headache for another three, well, two or three seasons, okay, three at the tops, and no, because they should, they could have kept Kim Fields, and they could have kept Shamari, I mean, they could, you know, one season actress, very well known actress, Kim Fields, not like Kenya Moore, and her acting debut, or debate, or do whatever, okay, and then the, uh, Shamari, she could have gave us some insight other than, well, maybe she was a risk because she was acting pretty much silly on the show with drinking too much alcohol and then acting a total jackass or, you know, just acting really, really out of her character, I guess you could say. Not a jackass, but just, who, just, I don't know. You know how a person just have too many drinks or they're not a, he a, a real heavy drinker and you just want to just take the bottle from them and just tuck them in the bed and say don't get up you know junk in a sense treat them like a child uh she definitely can't hold her liquor so maybe we shouldn't see uh shamari because they'll play the bad part of her uh once they film her scenes and stuff but we don't want to see her get done that way so let's scratch shamari but yeah all the plausible person i would see that I would really want to see come back would be Phaedra Paws or maybe one of the Scott sisters from the group Escape uh, giving us some dirt or some kind of drama field where Candy can come out of her shell and stop looking to her mother or Todd to set the tone of a storyline for her. You see what I'm saying? Because like I said, even if she, if she had a spinoff, we would have to get some type of excitement from the aunts of the mother. Or taught himself. Because other than that, Candy really never show us how she's moving and shaking in the streets. Who she's going to interview with or make business deals with or, you know, something. Or, or just showing us how the daily life is at the OLG 
game restaurant, you know, not even thinking about bringing the uh, aunts involved, but just just go around and just see what's the daily life in her itinerary for each day that she's moving and shaking, you know. Let's see her get prepared to go and, I don't know, tape a scene in Chicago or wherever she's doing this shy or whatever it's called. Or, you know, how she prepare her day of getting up, getting prepared. Something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I just, mm, I don't see what we're going to get out of her having her own spinoff show. Because definitely she's going to be bringing in Carmen, uh, one of her close friends. Uh, you know, she's going to have Todd there and. We don't really need to see the kids, but nine times out of ten, that's what these new age reality celebrity stars do is show us their kids and stuff. So they get in trouble, then they don't want to talk about them no more. Uh, but I, I don't know. Let's just go back to the article because I'm getting depressed. Just even talking about what we have to look forward to seeing Candy in new things um, where she can't stand alone. Uh, and that's shown, you know, that's tried and true. We always get it you know, uh, drama field stuff or interesting interesting stuff to watch uh, when she's basically doing something with Todd and Todd's not agreeing or basically uh, her aunts are getting into it about what Todd ain't doing or Mama Joyce is trying to say Todd is going to continue using candy. And, you know, that's just a storyline that you know, if you're going to breathe new life into it, okay. But if it's going to be the same old, same old, we already know what Todd is about somewhat. You know, by giving our own uh, perspectives of what we've been shown of Todd on the show. And how he reacts to his biological child and <clears throat> just stuff of that nature. But let's go on back into the article. This is Candy is down with new people coming. After a drama field season, Bravo might alleviate some tension and create new issues by bringing in some new women would i be opposed to some new blood coming burr said in an interview with hollywood life no i wouldn't be surprised if they added some totally new people because to me that's always means we're bringing in some great energy bravo could also decide to bring old cast members back with burrs which burrs was less enthused about uh, I don't have issues with certain people or whatever. So it's like if you want to bring them back, then whatever, she said. I don't mess with all of them, so I'm not the boss, so let's be clear. I do not make the decisions, you know. Let Bravo do their job and let them do what they're going to do. For me, I don't feel like anybody needs to be let go or whatever. And I'm like, Ken, are you serious? Are you, what do you mean nobody need to let go? We need to bring one of them Scott sisters up in here. Uh and see what you're going to be naughty or nice towards them. Because they'll be coming up in the ranks of, you know, making a little bit more money uh, on the level that you definitely have grown to love by being on the platform Real Housewives of Atlanta. So, you know, that would be some serious uh, uh, drama that them sisters can bring. And I guess you will be sending some cease and desist letters to them, um, not being able to expose some of your truths, okay, that you don't want being brought out on national wide tv okay or better yet we definitely we don't want to see kim zozak she already got her platform over there we don't need to throw no more shine there because she definitely had it for some some seasons so she ain't made her own money off her own show then shame on her okay we don't need to see her back we don't need to see sheree back um and ain't anybody oh old housewife other than phaedra paul's now everybody don't have to shine to come back except for phaedra paul's kim done had her time uh, Sheree definitely don't have her time. Um, I forgot. Lisa Wu tried to come back a few times. Uh, well, hell, we don't want Claudia Jordan back by no means. And Kim Fields already ex Bravo out. Hell no, she said to them. Don't ever want to come back. I tried it. It didn't work for me. I'm moving on. Forget you ever knew me, okay? I'm like, okay, Kim, girl. That's just my pun intended. Kim didn't say that. Okay, I just felt that her, if you were ask her or could ask her, she, that's what she probably would say. Uh, since she was shown so badly on the show when she was uh, definitely on the show they didn't show her in a good light all right uh but going back to the article um i disagree with candy yes she does have issues with certain people she probably would like to see um 
Portia gone. You know what I'm saying? Because Portia is really, she's very humbling to me these days. And she's trying to make it do what it do with any type of um, newfound invention she's trying to bring out. You know, she don't not know about a hustle, but she just try to get to the money too. And she's doing it in a very silent way. Because she has a little impromptu acting going on as well. I don't forgot what, was it Insecure? Hell, I forgot what show she's supposed to be on, but she was like a little extra. But she was trying to tap that little extra part that they gave her, 15-minute cameo. She was doing that darn thing, the little clip that I did see. But um, getting back to the article, uh, yes, Candy, we don't heard you say so many times, you're not the boss or bravo, you don't make decisions. But you may not make decisions, but you could put in people ill why they would be a good fit to add to the show or why they wouldn't be a good fit. To add them to the show. Yeah, they do listen, okay? And I'm sure you voicing your opinion over there. But this is my pun intended, okay? So anyway, um, back to the article says, Burr specifically discussed the idea of Kim Zosiak Bierman coming back to the show now that she and Nene Leakes have rekindled their friendship. They always do that, she said, of Leakes and Zosiak Bierman making up. Every couple of years, couple of months, I'll say every couple of years, they'll always start being cool with each other. But as soon as you bring them around together on the same show, it's like all hell breaks loose. The funny thing is, like, I don't have a problem with Kim. I think, yeah, we've had some issues in the past. Yeah, that Tardy for the Party song that she just drug you, fulfilled, and still didn't pay you. Got all your talents done for the record, but girl. She didn't pay you one, not red, one red cent, okay? But that's my pun intended, not in the article. So, yeah, you, you, got some, you got some hate towards her in that way. Maybe hating on the situation, uh, how she used you, not hating the person itself, okay? Just the business deal. But moving on, um, obviously with the song, we had issues. Of course you did, Candy. But I've always said I just thought we shouldn't have done business together. Some people you just ain't supposed to do business with. You know what I mean. I don't really have a problem with her. I don't think we would get any, any, any arguments if she came back. I don't think so. We didn't argue about anything until the last time. So do what you will. Girl, if she came back talking about you trying to make her another song. If she tried to entice you to make another song. Girl, you know you would be like throwing that mess up in her face. But you know Fantasia. Maybe we need to get Fantasia to come on the show. Y'all supposed to say y'all best buddies or Tamar. Wonder, now Tamar will be very well put together to come on the show. Because you couldn't handle Tamar on Celebrity Apprentice. You know, you tried, but you couldn't handle her candy. Maybe that would be a good lineup. And that's Shamia. I don't know, honey. You better take yourself on before you mess up your marriage, child. Because it seems like you got a nice man. And when you bring men into the mix, they get to surrounding themselves. And they start watching the men out there. You know, 411 putting private investigators on them next time you know they're part of the show's uh storyline so Shamia, you better just go somewhere girl just go somewhere and, and don't hook up with kenya before we start seeing you in a file light but going back to the article i kind of get you know thrown to the side want to have my own sidebar here and there y'all know how i do when i do what i do okay uh the next part of that article said what happened on the real housewives of atlanta reunion and she writes before we get into the next season we still have the reunion to watch unfortunately due to the coronavirus COVID-19 the reunion took place over a virtual meeting platform rather than in person but according to Burris the format didn't have any effect on the women's confrontation okay obviously it was totally different than any other reunion that we've already had she told the outlet I was scared because we talk over each other, obviously, when we're arguing. I'm like, how are we going to do that? But the way they had it set up, they can isolate everybody and still have it be quality, which is what I care about as far as how the girls dealt with it. I thought everybody was going to be weird about arguing face to face, but they didn't have no problem. It was worse than it would have been had we been sitting right next to each other. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, and it just pretty much is what it is, okay? Pretty much is what it is. 
Oh, but then they go on. I don't know if it's another story. I think it's another story. Uh, I might have to break out. Um, we might have to stay on this uh, showbiz cheat sheet. But we'll go on. We'll go on and conclude this particular one. And get into another story just to see if it was worth anything uh, to bring to you all. Because we just over here, we just talking. You know, anytime we ain't got nothing to do, we come to the platform and we invite our family members to come in and dive in. Those who will, what say you family on the particular subject matter I'm talking about. Want to know your input. Uh, see if you feel the same, you feel different, and, and maybe we can see the differences of opinions we're um, having with one another to see if it's some founded truth that I can feel the way you feel, okay? But it's an open forum over here. Everybody can express their opinions and be uh, safe to say whatever they want to say. Just as long as they're talking about subject matter and they're keeping it clean, you know what I'm saying? They, they ain't cussing nobody out or not letting nobody have their say, and they're doing respectfully. That's all we ask. That's all we ask. But I'm done with this video. Cooked it up. Served it up. So wanting to know you all's opinion that was brought to you all on Miss Candy Burr's having an opinion of who should go and who should come on the show. Okay. But she ain't trying to give up her platform. I can tell you that. She ain't trying to give up her seat on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And she politely said she ain't going to wait until they throw her away. Okay. I'm like, okay, I don't believe that. If you got a, a better opportunity, you know you would go, girl. You know you would go. But anyway, it is what it is. I'll see y'all next video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, okay, to the show. And we'll see y'all next time. All righty. Be blessed. Stay safe.